A uh, greeting, Sagittarius, and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. I hope you're doing wonderfully well today, and let's jump right in and see what the cards have to say. But first, we're going to start off with the Angel Oracle to see what the theme of this reading from Sagittarius will be. And I invite you to bring your own question, concern, or curiosity uh, to this reading, and that way you will get the most... Uh, precise and accurate information that you need to take from this reading. And this is what the angel oracles need you to know. Oh, manifestation, Sagittarius, you're manifesting something. You're pulling something out of the stars and you're pulling them into your heart. And that sparkling light of happiness and hope and renewal is coming out of this abundance. And the manifestation is coming because, and it's going to bring you joy and contentment. You might have manifested something recently, Sagittarius, a new home, a raise at your career, um, some information, maybe the announcement of the birth of a child coming, but something beautiful that's going to bring you joy and contentment, and that is powerful. And so this reading today is going to be a three-card reading, past, present, future. So uh, I ask you to <clears throat> see what it is. The question is going to clarify for you, Sagittarius, around what happened in the past, what's happening now, and what will happen in the future. Two of Swords. In the past, you have been uh, at a crossroads, having a hard time making a decision. Maybe you have been wanting to manifest something, but you've been kind of tangled up and not knowing how, and blindfolded, and seeing, feeling like mentally, I keep going back and forth between, should I do this or that? Should I do that or this? And going back, and that um, creates kind of like you have a bird's nest in your head. And uh, there's a lot of tweeting and chirping around you, but you need to come to a, a clear decision about something. And that happened in the past, and maybe the decision that happened in the present is the Ten of Wands. Well, right now, you're going through a phase of um, coming to the end of a heavy burden that you've been carrying, a responsibility, Sagittarius, that um, has been uh, making you maybe shoulders hurt or your back is hurting. You might have some um, muscle pain. But... <clears throat> you've been carrying this burden of flowers, of something beautiful. Even if the burden was something uh, like uh, as beautiful as carrying all these flowers on your back, it still can be a heavy and daunting task that you're getting tired and wanting to release that burden now. And the future uh, you're going into is the Two of Cups. Well, you're coming into a sense of union, of divine partnership. Once you let this burden down, you will see how happy you're going to be uh, finding this soulmate and to uh, explore this uh, whole uh, future realm and feel that union and connection and partnership. And that is a interesting reading for you. Uh, so let's get some clarity from your uh, ancestors. Sometimes we need just to tap in deeply with um, those ancient forces within us that are as close as our DNA, and they want you to know um, about the Two of Swords. What is it that you need to know about this past indecision or this feeling that you were stuck in a crossroads in the recent past? Set your sights higher. Well, maybe you were feeling um, caged in with these birds and you couldn't make um, let your spirits fly to make a good decision about something. And now you are because you got this uh, stargazer. Uh, set your sights higher. Take that uh, bird house off your head and look at the stars. And maybe you have been spending time outside stargazing and really pulling in the energy of the stars because look at this in the terms of the manifestation card. And your ancestors want you to know this ten of wands, this heavy burden you've been carrying, even though something has been flowering and blooming for you. It has been a lot of work. You've been on um, <clears throat> this a trudge going step by step, holding your ground. And the ancestors are saying right now, Medicine Mother, honor your inner knowing. 
and maybe you will be connecting to a medicine mother or there's something about medicine or a healing that's coming up and you will have this uh, protection and help uh, as you let these burdens down. You're almost there. The 10 is saying you're coming to completion in the present around something that has been um, a long journey at the crossroads of having to make a decision. But you're going to make a decision by honoring your inner knowing and using that deep uh, divine wisdom within you, Sagittarius. And the ancestors want you to know about the Two of Cups, this union, this partnership you have that you have um, maybe had a hard time knowing what to decide and then you've carried this burden. But now there's a divine partnership, a union that's a part of this journey in the future. Make plans and focus. Well, as you move into the future with this partnership, you're going to make plans and focus and move forward. And um, that is a powerful reading. And so it is. And I hope that this reading resonated with you. And if it did, leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'm bringing these shorter readings into you so you can take a moment in the middle of your day, whatever you're doing, just to pop in here and get guidance and clarity on a, con a question that might be on your mind, might be something that's uh, kind of um, in your mind going over and over. And you're um, being guided here to recognize the manifestations you're making and they're leading to joy and contentment as you uh, make a sacred plan and focus on that. And so it is, Sagittarius. And you know I love you and we're in this interconnected field and we're learning and growing and we're growing toward those uh, manifestations and growing toward unions and partnerships and making a plan that's going to really move us toward joy and contentment. And that's what I have for you. See you next time. Bye-bye.